Hi, I'm Nick Morgan from Handed Taurus. This is Noble Gear Reviews, and today we're checking out the Jackson Misha Mansour HT6 Evertune. So I've picked up the Indonesian version of Jackson's uh, signature Misha Mansour HT6 uh, guitar. I actually elected to get the Evertune version. I got it from the Evertune website for about $12.99. This is actually my second Evertune bridge uh, guitar, and I absolutely love them, swear by them. If you don't have one, I highly recommend it. You can put this through long studio sessions and it will stay in tune. You can put it down, you can come back two weeks later, and that thing will still be in tune. So I can't say good enough things about Evertune's products, um, but it isn't about that, it's about this. It's about this gorgeous guitar here. So. Uh, first, uh, the finish is uh, matte blue frost, um, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. That's over top of a basswood body, has some gorgeous horns, some nice uh, you know belly cut right in here, um, and, and has some really good access on the back of the neck. Um, the whole cut of this guitar is absolutely incredible, and, and I, I love it. Um, in the bridge and neck positions, we've got the Jackson proprietary MM1 pickups. Um, that also comes with a tone knob that you can actually put into the circuit and take out of the circuit. If it's up, the tone knob's in the circuit. So then we can adjust you know, the warmth of the guitar. And then when we put it down, it takes the tone knob out of the circuit, adds a little bit of brightness and more attack, makes the whole guitar just feel and sound more aggressive. We also have the volume knob right here and we have a five-way selector switch. Um, which goes through various modes of splitting the coils or you know having both of them or, or singles so um, as we go up the neck we have a very premium feature for this price point guitar you know about the eight hundred nine hundred dollar range and starting to see more guitars like that um, in that range but this is a really awesome feature is a caramelized or roasted maple neck you know that's where they cook all the moisture out of the neck it gives it just a beautiful look and uh, whenever they uh, finish it off it just feels amazing um, they also elected to put a caramelized roasted maple fretboard on it uh, which is absolutely beautiful and it also has the offset inlays which just adds even more class uh, another premium feature for this price point is the uh, lumen lay side dots on here which are absolutely amazing for low light scenarios whether it be live or in the studio again um, also, the fretboard has jumbo frets, they're nickel, and it also has a 20 inch radius. As we go farther up the neck, we have a plastic nut. I'm not really quite sure why they chose to put a plastic nut on here and instead of a you know, few dollar upgrade of just a graph tech, um, but you know they did and it doesn't really seem to serve the guitar in any negative uh, sense, so that's, that's all right. And then uh, finishing it off, we have Jackson's uh, proprietary locking tuners. Uh, which makes you know changing strings just that much easier and then last off we have the Dunlock strap locks and they also uh, have they come with like locking strap locks so this comes uh, this comes really handy in scenarios where you may be in a live setting and uh, need to keep your guitar from falling off of you so I'm more of a studio guitarist I don't really ever have to worry about that but I think that that's a really nice feature to kind of touch on so now let's uh, let's get this baby rolling with some clean tones, some mid gain tones, and some high gain tones, and see how she sounds. So now we'll take a minute to uh, just go ahead and play her through uh, some clean tones, some mid gain tones, and then do some some heavier high gain uh, type uh, type sounds out of it. Um, and what I'll do is kind of keep it scientific. I'll do the same riff, but I'll run through the various uh, positions of the five way selector switch. So. Uh, what we have here is the bridge position, then we've got uh, in the number one, then position number two is splitting the inner coils of the neck and the bridge. Uh, position number three is full on humbucker bridge and neck. Uh, position number four is the outer coils. And then position number five is just the neck pickup. Um, so I'll run through, like I said, I'll do uh, a riff with the same riff running through various stages and then we'll up the ante with a little bit more gain and then a little bit more gain.
So now I just want to kind of give my thoughts on uh, on this splendid guitar right here. Um, so I'm really happy with the Indonesian model um, HG6. I, I really think it was a good buy. Uh, I kind of heard some some maybe some negative uh, thoughts on the tuning issues of of the uh, non Evertune version. So I elected to get the Evertune. I thought that uh, you know a four hundred dollar upgrade it being twelve ninety nine and the original being eight ninety nine. Um, was actually worth it because I got this. I have not had any tuning issues. I set it up for drop C tuning when I got it, and I've had no problems whatsoever. Um, I know there's some reservations about Evertune bridges. Uh, with some people have said, you know, you can't get them to to bend or vibrato. Honestly, it's a, it's how you set it up because I have no issues with that. Uh, I've, I've set it up to where. Uh, I can do bends and it, it comes out sounding just like the rest of my guitars, except I just don't have to tune it as often. Aside from that, uh, going to the electronics of this guitar, absolutely uh, think that Jackson knocked the, the, the ball right out of the park with these pickups. The MM1s are actually really good. I have, I've actually not heard enough good things about how good these sound. They sound great. They sound really amazing. Um, and, and so I'm really happy with it. Um, you know, as far as the caramelized roasted maple neck, I'm in love with them. I can't stop saying enough good stuff about them. Um, the the Lumen Lay side dots are uh, really handy. Like I said, I, I like to pull maybe some late night sh sessions. 
Um, really found the tone knob as well to be a, a really handy feature. I think that that's really cool being able to pull it in and out of the circuit um, because it really does do that much more just to add a little bit more aggression to your tone. Uh, you know, this is this is a, not a huge departure from the USA uh, model other than price point. The price point, I think the USA model at this point is about $3,500. Um, you know, they elected to put a Graphtech Tusk nut into it, which is always a good feature to have. And it's really only a, a dollar or two to, to upgrade uh, from, from having a plastic nut. So, um, like I kind of said before, I'm not, really, I'm not really quite sure why they chose to put a plastic nut in here. Um, but it seems to work just fine. Um, but I've heard some gripes about it. But um, we also have the Jackson proprietary tuners. Uh, the USA model has hip shot uh, locking tuners as well as a hip shot bridge. Um, I think some of the tuning and stability issues that they had gotten, other people had gotten out of the uh, HT6s that they have reviewed happen to be the proprietary tuners, the plastic nut, and the um, Jackson base bridge that you get on these models. Um, but overall, like I said, I, th I feel like the Evertune has kind of fixed all of those issues. Um, and it, it really didn't up the price to the point to where I wasn't unhappy paying uh, what I did for it. So honestly, I mean, I think I kind of mixed some good and some bad in there. Uh, if you were to ask me how I really felt about this guitar, I feel like this is a fantastic buy. I would totally do it again. And this will most likely be my workhorse whenever I'm doing recording sessions. So, uh, you know, on any future stuff, whenever you're hearing it, most likely it's going to be this guitar. So, um, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm very, very excited about what I'm going to get to do with this. And uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. And, uh, you know, that'll help me be able to bring you some more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nick, and you're awesome.